Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the June 2021 Love From Lizzie card kit it's called Summer Botany. Now um, there's a few little bits I'm just going to run through first. That is all kits for June were shipped in really good time we're really pleased to announce. Uh, we're managing to run quite efficiently. I did manage to have a little bit of time with my little piglet. He had half term from school so we managed to get a little a little trip very locally in a way, as that's what we're allowed to do at the moment. Um, an important update is that um, as of the 22nd of June, which is Tuesday coming, European customers will have their add-on shipping cut off. This is happening because there are some changes to do with tax laws, so we need to get those European kits shipped out as quick as possible to get them to you um, before the 1st of July, the hope is. Um, for the following month, for orders for Europe, we will update you with the newsletter. So if you're not signed up to the Love From Lizzie newsletter, I will pop a link to the website in the description below where all you need to do is click to subscribe to our newsletter and then confirm via email that you want to receive our newsletter. Um, that will get sent across to you from the website and then you'll be automatically added. But there have been some changes. HMRC haven't been um, as forthcoming with information as we'd hoped, but we will continue to ship to Europe. It's just that for the time being, the 22nd is the day that we want to be able to ship out the European kits to make sure that you will get those ahead of time. Um, for everybody else, you can place orders up to and including the 27th of June, which is not tomorrow, the following Sunday. We will be starting to get those add-ons processed from the 28th ahead of shipping which is going to be the Thursday the 1st of July. I hope that all makes sense. Um, I'm really excited about this kit, so much so that I have actually managed to make a card to show you at the end. Um, but without any further ado, I will show you the Summer Botany Kit. So, it's a 12 by 12 bag this month with an embellishment bag separate, so I will start with the 12 by 12 And with cardstock first, there are five sheets as always. They are American letter size, so eight and a half by 11. You've got black, white, which is alcohol marker friendly. You've got this really lovely warm yellow, a nice teal, and then this brand new to us, it's almost like a cherry red, really, really lovely warm Merlot sort of color. They're the five sheets of cardstock. You're getting a 12 by 12 bag because there are some cutter parts and stickers this month. So these are the two inch cutter parts and you've got a mixture of nice sentiments and icons um, and then some with both. So you've got loved on a, a sort of like a butterfly button here. The good day, sweet dream today, love you more, you are beautiful, this photo. And then they are double sided, so if you're not a big cut apart fan, there is just some extra bonus pattern paper, which is lovely. So you've got the two by two, and here you've got the, the next, which is uh, begin each day with gratitude. It's the little things, all my heart. Life with you is beautiful, and there are some really gorgeous images here. They're all very summery, very botany like, the sort of thing that you sort of would expect to find in um, these old journals. And there's some really pretty butterflies to the reverse there. The final sheet of cutter parts, we've got lovely, you are loved, you are enough. Um, and then this one, for example, which is almost blank, so you could put a piece of ephemera or you could stamp um, a sentiment on there. Um, faith, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. And again, like some of these things, you may wish to cut the butterfly from just if, you, if the whole piece isn't what you're going for and then on the reverse it's almost like a distressed flower but tone on tone paper again really pretty and then we have the 12 by 12 stickers and this has got a really nice selection of some large sentiments some icons tags 
And then there was these sort of like tickets and some sentiments on um, little banners there, which are really handy. Um, these are the good days, the good life. Um, you bring the sunshine, which is a very sweet one. Um, but they are all really lovely and thick. They're, they're like almost like cardstock. Um, and you can obviously, if you want to extend um, these icons, you can use some anti-static powder tool um, or baby powder to the reverse and then 3D foam behind them to pop them up from your card. We've got two sheets of specialty this month. We've got some green glitter. This is the non-shed glitter, which is a really nice sort of grass green. And then we've got this embossed gold metallic. It's almost like linen finish to it. And there's just some half sheets. So we have both of those. We have a brand new peel off design to us. This is the mink mini circles so you've got three different size circles and I do use these on the card that I've made so I can show you how I've used those particular ones. You've got six by eight pattern papers this month so you're getting lots um, to choose from because these can just be split in half um, to make two card fronts with so um, and for example with this one where you've got this large sentiment you could split this in half and over here, lay some ribbon or cover it with another piece of patterned paper. But they are all double-sided, so you do get the option if you don't want this the larger sentiment side. But here is more of this sort of traditional botany design. And it's a little bit mixed media with faux sellotape put on there. And to the reverse, again, just some more really pretty patterns. These lovely summery coloured florals over black with some birds and butterflies in there and then you have a really nice polka dot so um, the front side tends to be busier and the reverse side more of a natural and calm uh, paper but it's really pretty butterflies you are the author of your life and then this sort of teal polka dot some more of these lovely butterflies and yellows pinks and ivories and then a polka dot um, but on the white, there is sort of like a distressed, um, you can't quite make out what it is, but tone on tone image. Here is some more of this sort of mixed media effect look. Again, really very pretty. And then a nice peach and white gingham to the back. This almost looks like um, something that you'd expect to find in France. This very shabby chic vintage wood that's been printed on with flowers, butterflies and this lettering and again you've got another very pretty floral design to the back there's these butterflies and this is the paper that sang to me I, I love blues of course um, but this is I made my card using this piece of patterned paper and then here we have these little collections of butterflies and blooms you are enough again another nice large piece but it, slim lines are really popular so I mean you could chop that down the side there and then you've still got all this lovely pattern to the reverse side that you can use. Every day is a gift with some more of this distressed effort and then you've got a really handy um, pinstripe. This does make my eyes go a little bit funny if I look at it for too long. <laughs> and then these last two sheets have got um, cut apart tiles on as well. So again they're perfect sized for card making or if you're making a little pouch to put a gift card in and then again to the reverse we have a polka dot and then a sort of a monotone print of some ferns, butterflies and dragonflies. And last but by no means least we have the stamp set that goes in the 12 by 12 bag and this is very mixed media-esque. You've got um, some print with some florals, um, two of which um, and this is an four by eight inch stamp set so this is double the usual size that comes in the kit you've got just script here which isn't quite legible which is great um, and you have this lovely border of lace and then some floral um, and leaf icons and then this is almost like the mixed media is done for you you've got a bird on a branch a sort of little label a, a postmark um, some script, text, a, a little dotted line and then this again another sort of mixed media 
ready created effort with a rose butterfly and some scripts some illegible script and then there's a few sentiments you make my heart smile together we have it all made with love when we have each other we have everything and there's a tiny butterfly and dragonfly and then number 85 2s 6d which would be stamped along with one of the blooms or the ferns to just to make it look like it is a botany entry so that's the 12 by 12 bag next up we have the embellishment bag and in here we have a meter of this really lovely ribbon it's really nice and thick it's almost like a canvas feel and it's got these various butterflies printed on it in sort of it's a very dark brown so it's not black we've also got a piece of lace which is very pretty and it has um, sort of these flowers in now these flowers could be snipped out just to make these sort of it would they would almost look like crocheted flowers or equally cut a strip and um, line it up on your card it works really well with this mixed media idea having lots of different sort of textures and mediums you've got the sequin mix which is a really pretty gold pink peach and oyster white selection and you get a sample size bag of that with another, another little bag which has got four one meter lengths of twine and there is white with gold there is that sort of like a natural it's not jute it's um, more like a cream ivory color then you have white with sort of car, um, not car keys, like caramel and then a black with gold so a meter each of those and also in that bag we have three of these really pretty flowers um, they are quite they're quite stable considering they are paper they've got a very slight iridescent glitter to them I'm not sure if the camera picks that up and a little pearl in the middle but they will flatten down if you put them on a card front um, obviously the pearl remains but you get three of those and they're ever so pretty you get a full ephemera pack now um, in here there is a mixture of some really nice large pieces some really nice dinky tiny pieces some sentiments some icons there is a little bit of everything so I'm just going to sort of drop them all down but you have sort of this like live laugh love with the birdhouse and the flowers some butterflies um, fresh air in the nest some little hearts another collection of flowers um, a clock there with a grateful heart oh happy day so lots lots of different um, pieces that can be really versatile and then there's also similar pieces that are presenting in the pattern papers as well so today that's almost like a brooch butterflies the best ever so beautiful hello um, hello beautiful happy day and then these lovely little tickets old-fashioned tickets and last but by no means least we have the dyes this month so there's a whole array of sort of um, nature themed dyes so you have a very large butterfly which when die cut from the embossed gold card from um, that comes in in the kit looks like this and what's great about this die is I'm not sure how well the camera shows but there are two lines in the body of the butterfly so you could lace some ribbon through there to attach it to the front of your card so that the wings are free to move um, but that, that's sort of a, a side note you have the silhouette of a flower which looks like this when it's die cut you have a butterfly silhouette which is this when cut a really intricate dragonfly I, really, I am a very big fan of dragonflies They're, they are my favourite, the sparkly colours and it looks like this and they cut through the card like butter this was one run through my die cut machine and they've got a really lovely crisp finish here you've got more of a detailed flower and this one in particular would be ever so easy to paper piece having die cut that 
pop some double sided tape behind, run it through the die cut machine with another coloured cardstock and then just place in those petals. Because they're all exactly the same size, you won't be fussing around trying to work out which one's which for ages. You have a silhouette of a dragonfly, which looks like that when snipped. And then you have a leaf, which you could decorate your flower with, obviously in a different colour. And you also have a circle. Now this circle would work really well for the centre. I'll, I'll flip it over so you can see. But it works very well as the centre of the flower. But also you could use it to decorate um, your butterfly with you know, various different circles. So that is the complete kit. I'm really excited about this one, as I say, so much so that I had to make a card. So, and it's only the one, and it was just super quick. Um, but this is the card that I made. It's, a, it's one of the stickers, Dream Big, and I just clipped the sides down. One of the flowers with a little um, bow tied from the twine. Used the butterfly ribbon across the piece of blue patterned paper. And then I used some of my mini um, circle peel off dots with the mink pinstripe peel off just bordering around the edge there. So super quick and easy and simple to put together. Um, and I'm sure there'll be many, many more very pretty cards made with this kit. Um, they are under limited stock as always. They're in the shop and available now. I'm just going to jump in and do the product release and the recommended add-ons. So you can watch that video next. Please comment below letting me know what it is that you like about this kit. Is it that it's got lots of dies or the larger stamp set or do you prefer extra pattern papers? I'm always very interested to know what it is that you like to see in these kits so that I can make sure um, that I am giving you exactly what it is you want. I'll pop some still shots in now um, and I'll catch you in the release video. Until then, happy paper crafting. Bye!